reason I run back in 04, man, it was a uh, it was kind of Cinderella. But I got to say that Sam Cassell called it early. He told me at the beginning of the year, we had first got there, that we were going to win the NBA championship. <laughs> and I kind of looked at him, and I actually believed every year that I had a chance to. And when I got uh, Sam and Spree, <clears throat> we had uh, Trent Hassel, we had Troy Hassel, we had a cool little team. And we ran that team, and we believed in all that other shit. I say that to say that when we got to the Western Conference Finals, everything Sam said to me was happening. And I was watching it fold out, and then all of a sudden he hurt his hip. And when you're going up against a monster like the Lakers, or Kobe and Shaq and everybody, we, you know, we took them to game six and all that other shit. But it was, a, it was a Cinderella season. And I took it for granted. I mean, I actually thought that I was going to be able to have the chance to run it back and you know, have a chance to you know, chase it again. And um, <clears throat> management, they want to re-sign Sam. They let him go to the Clippers. He goes to the Clippers, makes the Clippers a contender. Spreewell, I think that was his last uh, go at everything. Him and the owner fell out over the negotiations and that team just dissolved and we went, we, went, we went back to shit. And we never recovered from that. Um, so that was really hard. And then I had to make some tough decisions because I wanted to actually be in Minnesota and we just, just went on the same page. <clears throat> but um, man, it was no better city to be a part of. It was no, uh, man, the environment in, in, in Minneapolis during the, during the playoffs was fucking crazy. You couldn't go to a restaurant. You couldn't walk around the street. You couldn't go into a department. So you couldn't be outside, bro. Motherfucking neighbors was going by, hitting the gate, putting shit up, dropping shit by. Old lady was coming up to the gate, high-fiving the gate, smacking the camera. I, I, it was a zoo, bro. It was a I zoo. Gonna lie. I ain't going to lie. That was like the, the Target Center, which you in there was one of the rowdiest was, places. Like I know, we, I, I know we went there once a year. I ain't going to lie. It was rocking. No, it felt like, like just this is me being an opponent. You know, you 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 know some building. It felt like, it felt like, like like the black church dog. It, like the one of the rocket ones. It was one of the rocket ones where you got the good choir and you got the you got the preacher who who's sweating. Lord. You know, it, like the preacher would be the dude who was on the sideline. Yeah. Uh, you got the little coach. You the got little the little coach, dude act like he was the coach. He, he acting like he was the coach. Shout and, to then, my and, then, dog. and then I don't know. You would do something like this to the crowd. I'll go and like this and make go. everybody stand up. Oh like, yeah, he'd do something like that and the crowd would go crazy. I'm looking like this is like church. Then we brought right the here. towels in there. Then we brought the towels in there. Yeah, what? It was shot the mini, yo. Lie. No it, better it, place. That, that, was, that when you was yeah. there, they I yeah, thought they cool fed day. off your energy. Yeah, like I watch it on TV and it's cool, and it's 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 cool. But I felt that they felt off, felt just vibed off your energy, and it just like it, it was just it was it was different in there. For my one time a year, we'd go there. I, like that was a place that we I was like, God damn, this is one of the places. Man, we could have uh, had some. Steph fucked it up, man. We could have had a whole about three, four year run. Cause we were before Shaq and Cole, you feel me? Matter of fact, Shaq and Cole, yeah, they got together what, 96? Yes, sir. We were me and Steph were real friends. We were, we had all our Y'all got together know, in 96. Same thing. That's what I'm saying. But we had a 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 connection on yeah, playing yeah. with each other. They Shaq and Cole wasn't even feeling each other. And Cole was still developing, blah, blah, blah. Steph was ready to Right, really? he came in ready. Bro, can you imagine being able to get pieces throughout the years? If man, what? Man, I get, I get. That's the biggest question I get from fans all the way. Man, if you and Steph stayed together, that man. You know who, who, who like? So I good. think they, they need to hold some of these more of these GMs accountable because it don't be. It, it's always the coach that gets the blame because you got the foundation mm. and you don't build on it, and then it set the franchise back 10, 20 years. Mm. That'd be the GM making these dumbass nah, moves. I can't say that. At Minnesota, Glenn Taylor made all the decisions, and the GM couldn't negotiate well, as much owner, as he GM, wanted. the owner, GM, all of that. That's he all, could, that's all together. That's the problem, all Listen, want. the problem that Steph had, he just wanted fair market value. You know what I'm saying? I think Gary Payton at the time was whatever. He just wanted, he wanted the bread. And at that time, you know, the rules were what they were. But, yeah. you know, you... Businessmen know how to figure out when it's time to pay a motherfucker, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, Steph didn't really see the vision of that or it didn't reflect in the pay. And, uh, yeah, he went on and did his own thing. But, yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know what I'm saying? If I don't get hurt on 09, do we run it three in a row? If we keep posing fucking our whole squad with Man, Pose, Perk, and T.A. That's what I'm TA, saying. You know a, what that's, saying? A, that's the part I'm talking about. So, you know, shit like that, man. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, if, if KD don't hurt the fucking Achilles, do they beat the Raptors? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, who... 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I can sit here and go through like 10 of these. You feel me? What if Antoine Walker stayed in motherfucking uh, in Boston with right. P? You feel me? Like, it's a bunch of shit we can go through here and just yeah. shoulda, coulda, woulda that. I'll yeah. be like, damn, man, P, what if, uh, man, you feel me? Right. But 20 years later, history's kind of repeating itself and the, you know, Target Center's rocking again, so probably rocking pretty Rocking again. Cool. I told, listen, I text, I text Cat on the 19th of May. I told him, on this day, special things were done. You can do the same. Be part of history. Make your own history. Be great. Respect. And left it like that. Straight up. Straight up. Then he shouted back, happy birthday. Appreciate you, Cap. Thank you all, man. Young Wolves, I love y'all, man. Keep going. Young C's, I see y'all, man. Keep going. I love y'all, too. Keep going. (laughs) Keep going. (laughs) (sighs) Keep going. 